I've done it. I've finally done it. I have found the PlayStation 4's worst game ever in the history of ever. This game makes Life of Black Tiger look like fucking God of War. This game, this travesty, was uploaded to the PlayStation Store and costs $30, I shit you not, $29.99. Now, the developer of this travesty is not unknown to me. This is the work of Gilson B. Pontis, whose uncle must work at Sony, because the only reason this shit must get up there. They were responsible for one of the worst games ever released of its year, uh, Sword of Fortress, which is, well, fucking well. And it's time for some Dark Souls action as we fight Boss Sierra. Here we go. So I'm doing pretty well, I think. Uh, smacking him up. He's reacting to the shots anyway. Uh, I, I say that with some doubt because I'm not sure if this enemy registers damage. I just realized I used the word travesty twice in a video. That's no good. I like to vary up the words, but it really is the best descriptor for this situation. The word game doesn't really work. So anyway, like most Gilson B. Pontus games, it involves running from A to B for an exorbitant amount of time, uh, walking up to an enemy and then getting killed in one hit. Uh, that seems to be the whole idea of the game. Uh, there is a dragon. We'll deal with the dragon later, that thing we left behind. But as near as I can tell, you play as Nosferatu for no reason who is killing a variety of quasi-mythical monsters for no reason. You've got a flaming sword for no reason. The sword scabbard sets on fire at night for no reason, presumably to give you a bit of a light and because the person responsible for every aspect of this piece of software um, might not be able to animate holding a lamp or just a lamp in general. That might be the issue. Now, I've boosted the brightness of this game as much as I can without washing it out. And that's not enough for how fucking dark this game gets, fiery scabbard or no. So be prepared and um, be aware that when this gets so dark, it's almost complete visual gibberish. Uh, then it's not you, it's not YouTube even, it's the game. Everything you're seeing visually with this game is as presented, uh, right down to the screen tearing, right down to the horrific visual grain that pops up sometimes, the blurriness, the fact that characters look like they're covered in uh, a thick layer of Vaseline. Um, that's all part of the game. The only thing I've changed is, as I say, I lifted the brightness a little because otherwise it is almost completely visually impossible to understand. It really is. So, trying to be a bit more tactical here. There is a dodge roll, quote unquote. Oh, there it is. Um, it goes in slow motion and you have to manually switch it off after you dodge. You've got to press the dodge button again to switch the slow motion off. It gets very confusing. Very confusing indeed. Uh, it's not really efficient. Dodging is, well, it's no more effective than hitting and running away. Um, although I, I do persist and try and try and puzzle out what this combat is and why the fuck. Uh, and I never did. Uh, I played um, for quite some time yesterday. Well, I say for quite some time. About as much time as I could stand. Uh, couldn't puzzle it out. It really does seem to be a case of um, keep slashing until they one-shot you. And that's the end of that. So that's a shame, isn't it? Uh, so this is the dragon. This is the dragon. Um, an interesting thing happens when you ride the dragon. All the objectives disappear. So the dragon, which doesn't really fight itself, it doesn't have any attacks, as far as I could tell, uh, you still swing the sword from sword back. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Because the objective, mar the objective markers disappear. Um, they're not visible, by the way, while the entire credits roll. And the credits roll, uh, as you may have seen, every time you respawn, we get reminded of Gilson B. Pontes' fucking name over and over and over again. Um, so the objectives don't appear until then, once Gilson stopped showing us his name. Uh, and then, when you're on the dragon, 
You literally have no idea where to go, and even if you're next to a monster, you won't see it because it disappears while you're on Dragonback. Uh, you will notice a little bit later what the overall result of that is. It's quite fun indeed. To look at, not to play, never to play, because this game is utter fucking horseshit. Utter fucking horseshit. It's appalling. By every existing reasonable metric, it's appalling. Uh, it's too bad for Steam. It's too bad for Steam. Um, I mean, well, let's not go too far. But it's too bad for anything outside of Steam. That's for damn sure. It's sickening that, that Pontus would put this up on the PlayStation Store and charge $30 for it. $30 fucking dollars. And do it with no shame whatsoever. And I don't want to, uh, I, I don't want to get a, a sort of self-important complex or anything. I'm the most humble person who's ever existed, but I do get the distinct impression these games are being put up just for me now. I seem to be the only person ever playing them, and a price of $30 would imply that they know I'm the only one who'd buy it because I get to do this shit. So anyway, this Hydra has disappeared because we got back on the dragon. Uh, this is me just seeing if I can feel it out. Uh, I get off the dragon and then the Hydra one-shots me and kills me. Uh, because fuck this game. Fuck this game. And I'm okay with saying that because the game, consequently, is a giant fuck you to anyone who bought it. It is contempt in digital form. This is someone just seeing exactly what they can get away with. I refuse to believe the criminal, the criminal who made this crime believes what they've done to be good. They can't. No actual human being can believe they've done this, can believe they've shat this out and feel like they've done good work. Samael, one of the most beautiful and powerful commander of the Kingdom of Neve, where peace reigned for several centuries in total harmony. As time passed in Samael himself, he questioned himself and his king, the ruler of this immense kingdom, if good could coexist with evil. Prepare for the hardest game ever made. Fuck off! Fuck off! Hardest game ever made. It's bollocks is what you've made. This isn't hard. This isn't difficult. It's just meandering to a Vaseline covered shitty little monster to be killed in one hit and then start again over and over again. That's not difficulty. That's not difficulty by design. That's a mess. What you've made is a fucking mess and you're marketing it as hard. Fuck you. Go get fucked and fuck off while you're doing it. Jesus Christ. What is going through the head of someone who makes something like this? What actually goes goes on. What is going on? When I make something, I want it to be enjoyable. I want it to be as good as I can make it. And if I can't make it enjoyable, I won't just put it out into the public eye anyway. I'm not just going to squirt it into people's faces like some sort of obnoxious garden hose full of liquid shit. But that's what people do. That's what... That's what the person who's made this fucking game has done. Oh, is this when I paused it to deal with the gas person? I paused it here to deal with the gas person. That doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. Just let it stay as it is. Uh, this is a good opportunity to look at just how dark this is. And remember, I've boosted the brightness. Playing this on the TV, it's almost impossible at night. It's got a dynamic light and day cycle. I swear the nights last longer than the days, or maybe it just feels that way because I can't fucking see when it's nighttime in this fucking game. This, I, I, I do apologize. I apologize for the strong, inappropriate language I've been using at certain points in this video where I've called this a game. I am very sorry for that. It's not right. It's not okay. This isn't a game. This is a disaster. It's an utter, bloody, blooming, flipping disaster. Samael, the legacy of Ophiuchus, is a perverse mockery 
of video games. It is a twisted joke at the expense of everybody who's ever liked a video game ever, and it should rot in fucking hell for all of eternity. I hate it. I want it to go away. I wish it had never been born. God damn. God bloody damn.